Yo, what up guys? It's Horcrux here. Thank you for tuning back to the channel. Uh, it's going to be a very short video. It's mostly on the AoE test. Sorry I haven't uploaded for a while. I have a lot of adulting going on. And I know I promised you guys a stream schedule from 12 to 5. But I'm not going to lie to you fellas. I was waiting for the AoE test to be done. Just so I can actually have fun in serial again. But they reinstituted them. They're doing them longer. And I just don't understand why. As if they don't have enough data already. It's very clear what they need to do about the abilities. They need to assess each ability and its impact on the server and then give it a cooldown and rework accordingly. There's only so many abilities in the game, it's not that entirely difficult. I really wish they would pay me to do it to be honest, but it just makes some classes very unplayable so people don't play them and that gives you false results on your da your data collection. Because yeah, the, the server may be doing better. But you don't know why it's doing better? Because people's just not playing the classes that use AoE, or they change their builds up to not use any AoE. That doesn't give you a <laughs> any data. It's just saying people are using different builds. <laughs> In my opinion, anything he healing oriented that has more than like a three target or whatever, give it a, a hefty cooldown. Or each ability needs its own individual cooldown. You can't do this global cooldown shit. Look at this. Like I use volatile armor, and then I then I use cauterize, right? It, look, this bug even pisses me off too. I'm gonna use. I won't let you guys hear the clicks, right? I'm gonna use volatile armor, and then one click, and then it immediately queues up a cauterize. That fucks you up so much. If you want to use another abilities, the cauterize, like what everybody you cast after that on the OE is gonna have priority. That nearly fucks up your rotation, as if it's not fucked up enough. It's just DK is unplayable at this point. Uh, in Serial. I know it's optional. I don't have to be here. But this is where the most people are. And it's the most fun. I go into BGs. It's just a bunch of Proctard sets. And then... Yeah, it's it's not fun. <laughs> to get Proctarded down by a no-skill class slash build. And then if you go into the sewers, there's fucking no one. I love the sewers. It feels great down there. But uh, there's just really no one. And the people are down there really like top tier players it seems. So it's it's kind of rough sometimes 1vx. But uh, these shared AOE cooldowns just absolutely destroy some classes. And it does not give you finite results or good data to use when making your assessments on what needs to be done about the server performance. Uh, that's just my opinions on it guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments please. If you agree, disagree, what suggestions you would implement. If you had to say so, but from a ESO veteran, I can tell you guys this is not the way to do it. Share cooldowns is terrible. I know they're still gathering data, but what more data do you need? Abilities that have higher range and higher AOE just need to be tuned down or put on individual cooldown. Cauterize is an AOE for God's sakes. Rapid Regen is an AOE for God's sakes, according to their uh, their assessment. So. Anyways, that's just my thoughts on it, guys. Again, I apologize for not streaming like I promised you fellas. But the AoE cooldowns is, just ruins this class for me. And it's really not too fun. I've tried single target builds with this. I like run Molten Whip and yada yada. Yeah, it can be done, but it's just not nearly as fun. Um, I will continue to upload videos, however. And streaming, I am unsure. Because just the state of the game right now is, it's I'm kind of bummed out about it. Uh, but the new expansion is coming out soon, or patch, or DLC, whatever you want to call it. Looking forward to farming the Pale Horse Ring. Uh, that is the most broken shit I've ever seen in my life. Uh, you're going to run that on probably like 80% of builds, I'm not going to lie. That passive healing it gives you is incredible. Even on my DK, the only heal that's going to be on my bar is Coagulate. That's it. No other heal than that. Because all your healings will come from all your AoE pressure. And your AOE proc set, so no need for a <laughs> for any hots or anything like that on the build. But we'll get to that another time. Uh, this has been Horcrux. Thank you guys again for all your support. It's greatly appreciated. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. Hopefully you guys have a great day. See ya.